So, vinegar, right? How much of this do you have in your, your pantry at home? You have balsamic vinegar, rice wine vinegar, you had for like a recipe. You're like, oh, I'm gonna use it for a recipe. You don't use it every day in your cooking. Well, maybe you do. Or maybe you have some kind of like white wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, um, some vinegar your friend made, some mother from Baltimore, I don't know. You have something, right? So I'm gonna give you a way to make um, a shrub or more of a really a cocktail syrup that's not a gastrique. Because just remember, if you only use vinegar and sugar together, it's a gastrique, right? We don't wanna make that. What we wanna make is something that is um, usable in your cocktail, something you can store, and something that um, tastes good too because you are putting it in your body. So one thing I love is using um, rice wine vinegar. So this is one of the simplest ones I uh, make every now and again. So what it is is um, half a cup of sugar, plain old sugar, right? Plain sugar. And in here I threw some anise um, and some green cardamom pods. And I just threw it in here because honestly, I just carried it, right? So we're gonna put this inside of, uh, pretend this is a pot, a pot. But what's interesting about vinegar is that a shrub doesn't necessarily have to be cooked with heat, right? You can add your vinegar, water, sugar together, put a lid on it, shake it a little bit gently. You know, sometimes it takes a half a day, a day, and it will absorb and you have something that is not cooked. So it doesn't really change the process, but it's so wonderful in your um, drinks. So if we put a half a cup of, um, Sugar, we're gonna put a half a cup, quarter cup of vinegar, and then we're gonna put a quarter cup of water. I know, sounds too easy, right? You need the water content, otherwise you're going to choke. And we're, again, we're not making a gastric, right? So we're gonna add a little bit of water. And I should have had that ready, but you know, we all know me, I'm not ready for anything. So we're gonna put that on there. Now, I love, at home, these snapware things. I don't know why I don't work for snapware. They should endorse me, but they don't. I like to put everything in there. It's super easy, reusable. Shake it up and leave it out, okay? Don't put it in the sun, okay? Don't put it in your windowsill, on a radiator, because you live in a walk up in Brooklyn, okay? Just leave it on the counter, someplace that's just kind of like ambient temperature of the air in your um, home, okay? Leave it there and come back to it. Um, about a good day or so, you'll strain it off and you'll have this beautiful liquid. And I like to keep the um, seeds and stuff in it when I'm doing um, with the vinegars because it's just really nice. And then you can use this in your cocktails. And you know, I bought this on Amazon, this bottle it looks very expensive for like three bucks. Invest in it, use it. It doesn't look great after a while. Take the top off, throw it out, get a replacement top and clean your bottles. And that's it, that's using vinegar in your cocktails. Enjoy.